Hey guys, welcome back to Attack on Adam World. How has your week been? My week has been pretty good, actually. I've uh, been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, even some online, playing some online versions of Fighters. Uh, it's it's starting to get a bit irritating for me. Um, not because I not because I'm constantly losing. Uh, but just because I seem to be facing the exact same teams over and over again, there seems to be like three teams that people play. You know, it's like Goku, Goku Black, Hit, and Frieza, or Cell, Kid Buu, and Goku Black. Like, they seem to be the only teams that I'm facing. No one seems to be using, like, Nappa, or no one seems to be using, like, Trunks, and, or Gotenks. You know, I don't see those for some strange reason. I've only, I only see these two teams, it's like, it's almost a pleasure when I don't see anything else, you know. Uh, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of that, been playing a lot of, uh, I, think I've, I think I've sunk about 10 hours into that now. Uh, the, the videos, the videos will most likely stop at episode 6, uh, unless people really like it and they want to see more, and it will depend on whether or not we go forward from there or not. Uh, I, we've got a lot, a lot coming out, and I think it's probably best Unless people are super into it. If people are super into it, I'm okay to keep doing it and put the extra work in. But I don't think people are super into that because I'm not very good at Dragon Ball Fighters in the end of the day. Is. I'm not very good at it. And people are like, well, you're not very good at it. <laughs> so I want to watch someone that's good at it. And that makes complete sense. Uh, we've got a whole lot of games here. I've got a whole list of games. Well, I say a whole lot of lists. There's like five or six. Uh, I've got a whole list of games that I have... Uh, that I've been looking at, that's coming out, all are coming out in February, because February is not slowing down when it comes to uh, games this year. This year is, this year is getting crazy for video games. Like, we are, it, it's insane. Like, or in January, we had a shit ton of games coming out, and in, in February, it's no different. We've got a shit ton of games coming out, and in March, it's no different. We've got a shit ton of games coming out. It's so good. It's such a good start to this year. They're just fantastic games, just constantly coming around the corner. February, a couple of re-releases and you know, a couple of remakes. So I think that's going to be a big theme going forward, quite frankly. But I guess we'll see. Uh, what else have I been doing this week? Uh, I've been preparing for patch 4.2 on Final Fantasy, which is later. Uh, I say later today. Uh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> it's tomorrow morning. When patch 4.2 goes live, that gives us access to the second stage of the Delta Scape, which is known as the Sigma Scape, and we'll be fighting the Doom Train and the and Kefka from Final Fantasy VI as the bosses in that raid tier. Uh, we will be. I mean, what else will we be doing? Actually, what will we be doing? Uh, we also got the new story plot, which of course we will be playing. We will be playing the new story campaign part of the Final Fantasy XIV storyline tomorrow morning, uh, or I'll be playing it tomorrow morning, you guys see it tomorrow evening, and we'll be doing that until that's done. Uh, I don't think there's many quests, so don't expect too many videos on that story itself. Uh, shall we? What, how, how, what level are these guys? Uh, ooh, we could probably kill them. Who do I talk to? These guys? There you go. Alright, so let's just get Shira up there and just decimate them. Boom. Good job, Shira. Uh, so, yeah, so there's new story and things. I, I might upload our FC, team, our FC Raid Team's uh, kill cam of the 1 to 4 uh, uh, or Sigma Scapes, sorry. Uh, I might upload those. Uh, it probably won't have any commentary or anything like that. I might just o upload them for the sake of having them uh, be, a, be a part of Final Fantasy, you know? Uh, so maybe that might be useful to somebody. I don't know yet. But I don't know. I've not decided yet. But I might do that. I might do that. Uh, so there's that. There's Biako as well. The the Tiger of the Jade Stoa being coming in as well. I'm super excited to be facing Biako. Well, I was super excited to face Biako. Uh, Biako is like this big tiger dude, right? So, big tiger boy. Super excited because I like the tiger boy. He looks really fucking cool. Then turns out he's like a buff boy. He's like this big muscular man with like this weird dragon shaft penis on his arm. It's fucking weird. And I was really excited 
because I really like the tiger and then it just was kind of like, oh, it turns out you're just a, a humanoid guy again. I see. You know, and that, uh, that upset me a little bit, uh, but it's fine. I'm sure the J-Star will still be pretty good. I'm sure it'll be great. Uh, I might upload a kill camera that as well. We're going into Extreme on Wednesday evening. We're going in to do the Extreme because we're doing the Devscape, uh, Sigma Scape, sorry, for fuck's sake. We're doing Sigma Scape, the second tier of raids, first. And we're going to be trying our hand at the Savages. Uh, I don't know if we'll clear any of the Savages, uh, but if we do, again, I might upload a kill, kill video of any of the things that we kill. Uh, warning. Warning. There are pirates. There be pirates here. Uh, and again, again with the, again with the, with, with Biako, uh, I might upload our kill cam uh, if we manage to kill it, if kill the extreme on Wednesday night. So that should be pretty good and pretty fun. I'm excited for that. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what else? about Final Fantasy. No, you know, not much about Final Fantasy. We can talk about it later. There's a whole bunch of patch notes that I would love to just read through and tell you guys how I feel about it, but you know what? We'll go. save that, and we'll talk about that whilst we're running places in the storyline next time. That's what we do. Um, but let's talk about games. Let's talk about games that are coming up in February, okay? Because, like, what? We're already on, like, what? Floor 95? We're on Floor 95? So, let's... Let's actually talk about this, shall we? These pirates are gonna be a, are gonna be a bug, aren't they? I should actually get screen link focusing on these pirates, I think. Uh, I don't know what to do. Does that hit anyone else? It hits two guys. Fuck it, it didn't kill him. That's unfortunate. Uh, so yes, so games coming out. First off, we have, of course. Dynasty Warriors 9 is finally here. The fully open world Dynasty Warriors game is here. It's still kind of scary. It's it's still kind of scary. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to know how I feel about it until until we play it. Uh, but it's 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 exciting. It's exciting. New Dynasty Warrior game. It's always exciting. Uh, I'm sure we'll get like an XL version or whatever as well. And I'm sure when this one, if this one does well, they'll probably all be like this for a while. I don't know yet, but it's exciting nonetheless. Uh, an open world Dynasty Warrior game also gives me hope for their like anime series. Like we've got um we've got Attack on Titan two coming out at some point, which is I think in the f I think in March. I think it's in March when it comes out, uh, but. I'm not too excited for that. I, I don't think I'm even going to bother with, with it because uh, it's it doesn't look any different from the first game, uh, and you know I still have the first game, so we could just play the first game if I want to do that. Uh, I don't know it doesn't look thing. Plus, I'm not into Attack on Titan world from a story standpoint. I think even after playing the actual game, I was still a bit like I don't really care about the story. Uh, I know a lot of people really really enjoy it, so that's good. I'm glad that people glad that people enjoy it and still play it, uh, but. Dynasty Warriors 9 is looking good. They've been showing it off. Tecmo has been showing it off a lot. It's it's impressive. It's pretty beautiful. Here's hoping we can... Uh, hoping that we can play it all the way. Uh, I'm gonna I'm definitely going to pick one character and we're going to play his campaign all the way through. But every character seems to have their own like similar campaign style. So if you... If you like, I, I, every single character is going to have its own campaign. Uh, at least their own ending to the campaign, which does lead me to believe that the campaigns might not be uh, tremendously long. I, I don't know how how it works yet, obviously. Uh, but I'm excited. I don't think the campaigns are going to be tremendously long due to the fact that everyone has their own ending. And I think they expect you to kind of like go through and get them. So we'll have to look and see how long they are and play for as many as we can. Uh, the Shadow of Colossus is coming out. Shadow of Colossus, uh, a big one, a big famous one. It pushed them. It pushed a certain development team straight into the straight into fame. This is not done by them, of course. Uh, it would it would take a lot longer if it was done by them, right? Uh, you know, the Last Guardian. I think I've not played the Last Guardian yet. I would like to play the Last Guardian uh, at some point. 
so at some point we we may play that on the show uh, I don't know if we'll play show the Colossus on the show I'm not sure uh, if that's because I was like I was watching a bit of a live stream right of it and I don't know how well that it would that it would speak to a uh, let's play very well you know because like a lot of it's just running along in open empty fields and they've kind of kept that so I don't, I'm not sure how well that would lend itself to a let's play maybe that's more of a uh, streamy sort of game uh, which I mean we could do I suppose uh, so there's um Secret of Mana as well, uh, an interesting one because I never played Secret of Mana. I've never played Secret of Mana. Uh, it's a game that uh, I've been told many times is very, very good. And I think it kind of, for me at least, it kind of became the same issue that I have with Kingdom Hearts. Okay, so I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Uh, you guys know this. The only time I played any Kingdom Hearts was for the Halloween like joke special thing that I did. And I didn't know what I was really doing in Kingdom Hearts, and just every everyone seemed to tell me that Kingdom Hearts was this amazing, fantastic, great game. You know, like it was above everything else in their mind. And when I eventually got to it, it just felt kind of sluggish and kind of boring. Granted, I was only at the beginning, and it's a, a JRPG, so that's kind of part of the course, I guess. But regardless, that's how it kind of ended up feeling. I think it was just an over-expectation of what the thing would would be. It was just an over-expectation. And um, I think that overall hurt it for me. Uh, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about uh, Secret of Mana. I definitely is not... I've been not been told as much. I've not been told that I'm a shit for not playing uh, Kingdom Hearts as much as I have. No, reverse, vice versa. I've not been told how much of a, like an asshole I am for not playing uh, Secret of Mana less than how much I've been told about Kingdom Hearts. So I'm looking forward to Secret of Mana in a weird way. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be good. Uh, I've never played it before. I don't know if you, we want to play it on the show. I don't know. We're still playing Digimon, of course. Uh, we've been playing that all the way through. So maybe we can play Secret of Mana. I heard that it's like free player co-op for some reason like I maybe that could be fun like maybe that's worth looking at is it on PC is secret of matter on PC or is it PlayStation only it must be PC as well in fact I'm pretty sure it is PC I'm gonna go ahead and say yes it is PC what's with all the fucking invasions of the pirates and shit what is this fucking pirate time uh, well <sighs> so speaking of pirates Let's talk about Bayonetta. No, Bayonetta is not a pirate. She is not a pirate. She is a lovely witch lady. Um, well, I say that. Uh, it's She's fine. Uh, Bayonetta, Bayonetta 1 and Bayonetta 2 is coming to the Switch. And you can buy them both in a lovely package of 1 and 2. You get number 1 free with number 2. I don't feel like that's really true in this situation. Uh, like when they released number two and they were like you get number one free it was like okay I get number one free but now they're re-releasing Bayonetta 2 and they're like you get Bayonetta 1 free it's like mm, no <laughs> it's definitely included in the price like come on dude don't don't try and do your goodwill twice you know what I mean uh, although saying that uh, Nintendo are still charging 40 quid and they've charged 40 quid for every re-release from the Wii U library so far. Uh, which is a little bit much, in my opinion. I feel like they should probably be, like, 25, 30 quid, if anything. Uh, if... Like, they should really be, like, 25 quid, 30 at a push, because of their, their bullshit cartridge argument, which also is bullshit, by the way. The whole, like, oh, it needs to be more expensive because we've got it on a cartridge shit. Like, fuck off. That's dumb. I don't care. It's, it's dumb. It's not, it's not a reason why you need to charge an extra tenner for all your fucking games. It's just not. <coughs> um, right. Uh, if they can show me that those cartridges cost me a ten, that cost, they literally cost ten pounds to manufacture, I'll pay an extra tenner. Otherwise, like, seriously, Nintendo, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, anyway, Bayonetta 1, 2, good games. 
uh, great fighting games, especially if you love like Devil May Cry. If you're into Devil May Cry sort of stuff, Bayonetta definitely worth your time. Uh, I've played one about halfway through. I played it on PlayStation. It was very sluggish, very slow, and unresponsive. Uh, apparently, that's an issue with the PS3 version. Uh, apparently, all other versions are much better than the PS3 version somehow. So that's fine. Bayonetta 2, I'm told, is very good. I've never actually played that, so I can't uh, vouch for Bayonetta 2. But I'm told it's very, very good. And I might get it because it's on the Switch and I've not played it. I I had a Wii U, but I didn't buy Banner. More pirates. What the fuck is this? I can't believe it. More more, more freaking things. I cannot actually believe it. Uh, but yeah, so there's a couple of, like I said, re-releases of Banner 1 and 2. And a couple of remakes. Secret of Mana is completely remade. And Shadow of Colossus, completely remade. Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks like the Colossuses have re retained their their spoopiness, you know, their 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 scariness. So that's nice. Um, and Metal Gear Survive is coming out. Now this is this is a touchy subject. This is very quite a touchy subject because people don't like Konami anymore. You know, hashtag fuck Konami and all that nonsense. And you know what? I'm likely to incline in a lot of in a lot of their business decisions and a lot of what they've done, from what I can understand. Yeah, it pretty much seems like they're a dick. It. They're they're a bit of a dick. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna go ahead and say uh, fuck you, Konami, for working on pachinko machines instead of video games, because if that's where your money is, then that's where your money is. You're a company. Do whatever you fucking like. And if they're gonna be making pachinko machines, then by all means, go make pachinko machines. Do whatever you're gonna do, Konami. <clears throat> but maybe license out some things like Metal Gear. Like, maybe license it out to a different development team, you know, shit like that. Just, I don't know, just thinking, just saying. You've got licenses, you've got a whole bunch of them. You know, do something with them. Uh, you know, Castlevania. Let someone make a Castlevania game. Probably be fine, right? Uh, but, Metal Gear Survive, I'm gonna be honest, it looks good. It looks good! I think it looks really good. <laughs> I know a lot of people are like, what the fuck, you're crazy, it doesn't look good? It does, it looks good. It looks fun. With like, with, I'm, I'm not even a zombie guy. I'm not even a zombie guy, especially not a unicorn zombie guy. These things just kind of look dumb and silly, but I'm okay with that. Keep in mind that I'm, <coughs> Jesus, I can't get that thing out of my throat. Uh, like, keep in mind that I'm one of the people who like Resident Evil 5 and 6. Right? I know it doesn't speak well for my, like, vote when it comes to video games. I love how, like, stupid and funny they are, and this just looks stupid and funny. It just looks stupid and funny. So Metal Gear Survive, I'm, I'm going to pick it up. I'm definitely going to get it. We're going to definitely have a little look at this on the show. Battle Body. Do we want that? Is that going to be better than the Ouroboros ring, though? I'm not sure if I want to go. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, I, an item God has it, so... Maybe we should try and take it anyway. Um, yeah, I... I don't know, Metal Gear Survive just looks looks great. I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 5 now, and you know what? I love it. <laughs> I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 5 at the moment, and I'm playing so much of it. It's so good. It's so good. And I know Kojima is not going to be a part of Survive. I know he's not a part of Survive even. And there was that thing about microtransactions in Survive. I really, really hope that they don't fuck it up. Holy shit, do not fuck it up. Because I already saw, and like, I've not played the beta. I watched a few videos on the beta. And I saw a way of how microtransactions could be added really fucking easily. So please do not add microtransactions. Konami, don't fucking do it. Don't be knobheads. Oh boy, There's, I mean, we they have added microtransactions. That we already know this, but like, come on, just don't, don't make them, don't make them too, too stupid. I'm giving you a leeway here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to defend your Konami. Don't. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna try and defend your Konami. But if you fuck up Konami, you fuck it up. But holy shit, it, it looks good. I'm told it has a, a robust story. I don't know what that fucking means. But apparently it has it has it. It's you know it. I'm excited. It's gonna be good. If I get to if I get to go out into the world, 
run around stuff, collect a whole bunch of stuff, and then craft a whole bunch of stuff, and then build a little base, you know, build like little farmland shit. Okay. Okay, well, we'll I'll play. You know, like that's that that's my um that's my point of reference right now is that it looks like a cool little crafty fun game. You know, uh, I actually someone who legitimately likes Minecraft. Uh, I I don't really play it anymore, but I like it. I am somebody who legitimately likes stuff like Dragon Quest Builders. I love building little bases. Like Fallout 4 was a complete fucking disappointment to me, except for that base building bit. <laughs> Gathering resources and building that base was fucking fun. It was so fun. So, you know, I'm 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 excited. I'm excited to build some stuff, and hopefully, Metal Gear Solid Survive can can show us how good it is and actually be a video game. Here's hoping, right? Uh, it, it on the other hand, it's only 25 quid. It's not a full forty. It's not a full fifty dollar, sixty dollar game. It's not a full forty dollar, forty pound game. Sorry, it's it's twenty five quid. So you know what? For twenty five pound, I'll give it a go. I'll definitely give it a go for twenty five pound. And the last game that's coming out, I don't personally have an interest in it. Uh, but well, I say that I do have a kind of an interest in it. So, Sword Art Online is a terrible anime. I hate Sword Art Online, okay? I I liked the season one. I played, I watched a lot of season one and I got through that. Watched a lot of season two and I was like, okay, fine. Uh, this is kind of shit and weird. And then uh, three, season three, <clears throat> the fatal bullet was, again, not the, like, the gun gale, is it called? Gun gale was like, not the worst so I was like okay it's not it's not that bad and it kind of just got progressively more shit and shit and shit and shit the entire way through and uh, the main character Kyoto is quite frankly completely unlikable um, but you know he exists I guess uh, I wish he didn't but he exists where is he? He's on red. So we need to pick up the invincibility, do we? Wait. Yeah, that is invincibility. Right. So pick up invincibility. What the fuck? Pick up invincibility. So that we can attack the boss guy because he's just killed a whole bunch of our people. This is not brilliant. Hopefully he shouldn't live this though. Uh, but yeah, so it's terrible. And I, I think if you're going to watch and you're going to enjoy a uh, a MMO anime watch Log Horizon Log Horizon is vastly superior to Sword Art Online Log Horizon especially season 1 of Log Horizon is way better than season 1 of Sword Art Online Log Horizon is brilliant uh, but Sword Art Online keeps getting these video games and it's interesting to see these video games the last one we played on the show well, <laughs> we were um, laughing quite hard at it. It was not good. It was a bad game, bad animations, bad leveling system. It was terrible. It was not good. It was like, uh, so did anyone play the hack video games, like the hack.gu RPGs that came out in on PS2? They recently re-released on PS4. They're really good. Sold it online. All, the, all of their games so far that I've played have been like shit versions of that. That's not super exciting, is it? Uh, but Sword of Online Fatal Bullet takes place in Gun Gale and like the gunny bit and they're shooting around stuff and doing flips. The game doesn't look awful. I'm not going to personally buy it. I just thought I'd bring it up because it's interesting and I'm probably going to keep an eye on it and watch someone else play it. Uh, watch someone stream it or something uh, because I I don't know it just I'm just interested to see how bad it is because like they're always shit they're always shit games it's always shit games from a shit anime but maybe just maybe they seem to nail it because the trailer looks great but that's all there is the trailer and the trailer always picks the best the cherry picks the best bit right you get the best bits and then you shove it out to your viewers that's what you do so, 
Who knows? Anyway, <coughs> Dynasty Warriors coming next week. Uh, well, not next week. The week after next week. It's 19th, right? I don't know. Dynasty Warriors coming February. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Survive. It's not Metal Gear Solid Survive. It's just Metal Gear Survive. We will do a few videos on it. Not guaranteeing a full playthrough. We will do a few videos on it just to have a look and see what we feel about that game. Also next month, Secret of Mana. Maybe we'll play. Shadow Colossus. Maybe we'll play. You guys let me know if you're interested in those ones. Digimon continuing through the thing. Dragon Ball Z stopping unless people really, really want it. If they really want it, I'll put in the extra effort and get those videos out as well. It'll be extra videos. It'll be fine. Final Fantasy 14 coming back with the new 4.2 patch tomorrow. Those are your updates, video updates. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching all the stuff on the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a quick like. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.